What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Barefoot Garage. We are getting ready to whip back on the boat truck. I made a lot of progress last night, but it was really late and dark, so it's really hard to film. Uh, the boat truck doesn't fit in my garage because it's totally packed with stuff. Uh, so everything we have to do is outside. So if it rains, that means no welding, that means no cutting, that means stuff like that. Uh, if it's dry and nice, then we get to work. Uh, so tonight's gonna be all about metal work. I got my welding jacket on. I'm gonna take a break from some of the mechanicals and the cooling system while I wait on some parts and do my favorite thing, which is welding, cutting, grinding, making a big mess, and getting that body permanently attached. Uh, when we started it last night, uh, the body shook terribly. It is hard mounted onto the frame, which I think is cool, but um, we need to get a few more mounts on there. But first, let's take a look at what's going on with the cooling system, and then we will jump into the welder, take a look at what my setup is, and uh, go on from there. All right, so let's take a look at what we're fabbing up with here. This is just my home garage setup. I don't do this professionally, uh, but, uh, we have a lot of older tools and we just make do with the best we can. I don't have any super professional equipment. Uh, I have a wonderful Miller 130 XP. It is ancient. This is my dad's welder. He doesn't use it a lot, so I commandeered it for my garage. Uh, to put it in perspective, when this welder was new, the instructions came on a VHS. So uh, if you don't know what that is, go look it up. Um, but uh, it is set up with Argon CO2. We're running off uh, like 035 wire. It welds up to quarter inch plate, so I end up maxing it out a lot. Um, but this welder has done a ton, a ton of work. You just gotta replace the consumables and the wire. Other than that, I have a 10 year old DeWalt grinder that does the bulk of the work and a pretty well used and gets very hot when you use it, uh, ported cable, corded saws. So uh, nothing super fancy here, um, but first we're gonna, gonna get a couple plates cut out and we'll start cutting our legs, grinding the frame down clean and then What's up guys, we are wrapping up for the night. Decided to tackle one of these little small fab engineering projects. So we've made our throttle bracket. It is not pretty, but it's not supposed to be. So I took an old exhaust clamp, uh, welded some plate to it, a little bit more plate there, added the stock piece here so we can get this stock throttle cable. I don't know if it's gonna give us full travel, but it's a start. And uh, boxed it in here, gusted it in here on the bottom. And it was all free, which is great until you think about this little ball and the kit it came in from Holly cost 15 bucks. So we'll give our throttle a try here and hopefully the action on that baby is sweet. I got a little bit of slag in there, but uh, yeah, little homemade throttle bracket. I think it's going to vibrate, but I'll double lock nut that and we'll hope for the best. Look at the action on that baby.